All right, welcome back to Homerville, Georgia. I'm Adam Bell along with Sammy Hendricks. We've got a game, I guess it'll be game four of the series. That's right, game four. Game two of the doubleheader tonight. Indians run rolling them just a few moments ago. We had 14 to nothing. That's what it was. The final score was 14 to nothing. If the scoreboard was wrong, it was 14 to nothing. So uh, Indians And I did go verify that with the coaching staff, so it was 14 to nothing. Good deal, yeah. good deal. Oh, it definitely – that's what you have to do when you come over these big rivalry games, man. You got to just stay on the all gas, no brakes, yep. take care of business, and get out of here. That's right. Yep. So we got game game uh, game four technically coming up. What do you look for out of the tribe here in game four? Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, we got Colton Cruz going on the mound for the Indians. Um, Cole Crawford pitched a great ball game in the game one. Colton's coming on here in game two. So good pitching. Keep playing good defense. And keep swinging the bats. There. I'm ready for some baseball, man. Yep. Get this thing going. Then we've got that huge week next week, Sammy. You talked about that a little bit pre-game in the game three a while ago. Big week, region week next week. Yeah, we got um, we got a game against Turner. We got three games against Eccles and two against Lanier. So we got see five big region games. Then we got one non-region game next week to finish up the season. We're gonna be busy. Yep. It's gonna be busy. So if you'd like to sponsor CSN, we're taking advertisers. And uh, especially in preparation for the playoffs. We know we're in the playoffs. Yeah. So if you guys want to keep us on YouTube during the playoffs, you know the GHSA, they charge three fifty for those fees. So if you're interested and want to pick up, a, pick up a series, give us a shout and let us know. Yeah, and barring any kind of disaster here next week, um, hopefully at least the first two or three rounds, if we can get the number one seed, we'll be playing at home. So yeah. that will be big for the Indians and the fans. All right, Sammy, here we go. You got the call, man. All right, leading off for the Indians here in game number two will be number three, David Walters. Walters, Crawford, and Cruz, the first three. On the mound for the Panthers, number 27, Jacob Delk. Delk pitched the game back in Foston on Tuesday. First pitch in game two is low, 1-0. Walters, Crawford, and Cruz, the first three. Then Thomas, Hobbs, Johnson, Roden, Crawford, and Baker. Finish out the lineup for the Indians. 1-0 pitch, high, 2-0. Jacob Depp on the mound behind the plate. Watts Fortner at first base. Levi Corbett. 2-0 pitch, swung on, hit foul out of play. at second base for the Panthers. Uh, real Number quick, Sam, we want to take care of some business real quick. Quick box, let us set up our remote camera up there in the press box so we could get a better home plate shot. So I want to give them a shout out for letting us. Yep, we appreciate that. Hook that camera up up there. Yep. 2-1 and one on Walters. High three and one. Finished out defensively for the Panthers at second base. Number 15, Taylor Kennedy. At shortstop, number 10, Maddox Allen. At third base, number three, Race Godfrey in the outfield. Adams in left, Gatlin in center, and Watts Fortner in right field. Fouled off at the plate. Three and two. Catcher they ain't, took a yeah, shot. they ain't got a piece of that foul ball. Fortner. All right. Sammy, guns and, guns and hoses tomorrow, man. Charlton's fire and the EMS departments battling, I guess, the sheriff and the police departments. Yeah. If you and want, you're going to sell peanuts. I want, thought for sure we get to call balls and strikes on you tomorrow. Well, if you want to see a bunch of old people hobble around the bases, come on and watch that. So if you want some ball peanuts tomorrow afternoon, game's at noon, right? Club clock. Game's yep. at noon. Mm -hmm. Come out there and support the uh, your local first responders. Cost anything to get in or just nope. free admission? 3-2 pitch to Walters. Here it is. Go strike three. But the peanuts aren't free. No, nah, the peanuts uh, are not free. That'd be set at a good price, though. There you go. <laughs> one down, that'll bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Cole, winning pitcher in game one. 
Also added offensively. Long two-run homer. First pitch is swung on, hit. Down third, that's a fair ball. Cole round first. He's going to go to second. He'll take a look at third, but he'll stay there with a one-out double. That'll bring it number 13, Colton Cruz. Mr. Cruz swung on here high in the air, ever toward the left. Adams over and makes the catch for round number two. And Crawford will stay at second. We'll bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. Time called at the plate. I think we're good on that jacket if you want to take that jacket down now. First pitch to Griffin. In the dirt, he gets by the catcher. And Cole will move over to third. And he'll be there now with two outs. Strike, one on one. Oh, one on pitch, and they got him. So, first and third now with two outs, and I bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. Coach Marshall will get Thomas in motion here with two outs. He's running. Pitch is high. Throw it out back to the pitcher and nothing doing on the bases. So second and third now with two outs. One to no on Hobbs. One oh pitch. Swing and a miss. One of one. One one. Swing on the hit. Foul down the left side. One and two. Got a, um, I got a final score in game one between Lanier and Eccles. Lanier wins game one 13 to 3. Eccles went. Lanier. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Lanier over Eccles 13 to 3 in game one. One, two. High. Two and two. Oh, three and two. 
And final score in game one at Atkinson County, Atkinson 10, Turner 0. Three and two on Hobbs. Payoff pitch, here it is. Down low, ball four. That'll load him up for the Indians. And bring up number 29, Hayes Johnson. We'll have a courtesy runner for Eli. That's going to be number nine, Brody Baker. Mr. Johnson, outside, one and One OPS to Johnson. Cold strike, one and one. One one pitch called strike one and two. Gotta protect that plate. One two pitch, here it is. Curveball. Swung on a foul off at the plate, still one and two. Way to hang. Live for another pitch. Here it is. This one going to hit. That's going to get through. One run scores. Two runs will score. And the Indians will take a two to nothing lead here in the top of the first on a big two out hit by Hayes Johnson. That'll bring up number 15, Chase Roden. First and second now with two outs. Dale could turn and look at second, no throw. First pitch to Chase is called strike, 0 1. One pitch. So I'm going to foul off at the plate. 0 and 2. Johnson at first. Baker running for Hobbs. Then a second. Two runs in. Delco will fake the second, no throw. O2 to Chase. Fly ball hit over short right center. Second base from over. Base to catch right number three. So the Indians will leave two on, but they'll get two in. The top of the first go to the bottom half, and just lead it two to nothing. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians baseball on CSN. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. 
Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. All right, Swamp War on CSN. We're back. India's lead two to nothing already. Bottom of the first, Sammy. All right, leading all four of the Panthers. It'll be number six, Deterius Adams, followed by Jordan Gatlin and Levi Corbett, first three. Number 13, Colton Cruz on the hill for the Indians here in game two. Hiles behind the plate. Chase Roden at first. Hayes Johnson to second. Griffin Thomas at short. And Cole Crawford at third. In the outfield, Baker in left. Walters in center. Creation that's Johnson in right field. Crawford at second. Deterius Adams will lead it off. First pitch, high, one and zero. I can see the screen now. It was yellow <laughs> in the game one. <laughs> Two and zero. We're going to miss. Two and one. On the Indy, or Christian, the Panther, the left fielder. Two one pitch. Outside, three and one. <clears throat> Call strike, three and two. Three two pitch to Adams. Swung on and hit back up the middle. Off Griffin's glove. And Adams will reach on an error. Start off the bottom of the first for the Panthers. That'll bring up number two, Jordan Gatlin. Got an attempt at a bunt, missed it. Call strike, 0 1. A 1 pitch. In for a strike, 0 2. A 2 pitch. Foul off, oh, still 0 2. Thoder first, out of the back save. <laughs> oh, two pitch runner going, pitches outside, throw to second. What a throw by Eli, got him at second. So Hobbs guns down Adams for out number one here in the first. One and two on Gatlin. One, two pitch in the dirt, two and two.
2-2 pitch. Grinder back in the middle. Griffin Fields on the first in time for round number two. Well, that'll bring up. Uh, he's got a different number in this game. That's number 11, Levi Corbett. One and oh. One and oh pitch hit foul over to the right side. One and one. One and one pitch is outside. Two and one. One one pitch all the way to the backstop. Three and one. Yep, three one. I got two two. Three, three one. one. Yeah. High ball four. So a two out walk for Corbett. That'll bring a number nine, Watts Fortner. First pitch to Fortner swung on. It's going to hit out the short left. That's going to fall in for a hit. So a two out single for Fortner. Get the Panthers runners at first and second now with two outs. Two outs, that'll bring up number 10, Maddox Allen. First pitch to Allen is in for a strike, 0-1. Going to step off and get Corbett back to the bag. Oh, one pitch. Here it is. Low. Throw down to second and Corbett back safe. One on one. One on one pitch. Outside, two and one. Two on the grounder over toward the second. On the first for right number three. So the Panthers will leave two on base here in the top of the first. Nothing doing. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Indians two, Panthers zero. We'll be back right after this. Please remember to shop local, support the folks, and support your kids. Here's six seafood and steakhouse. Located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse.
Walker Jones Chevy. Expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Welcome back. Indians lead two to nothing, top of the second. Sammy? All right, leading off for the Indians will be Ethan Crawford, followed by Isaiah Baker, and back to the top of the order, David Walters. Sun start to set here in game two. Delk has finished his warm-up tosses, and we're ready to get started. Ethan Crawford leading it off. First pitch, swung on a miss, 0-1. One pitch inside, one on one. One one pitch in for a strike, one and two. One two pitch, curve outside, two and two. Two two pitch, swinging to me a strike three. One down. That'll bring a number five, Isaiah Baker. First pitch to Baker is in the dirt. One and oh. <laughs> one and oh pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one. Two and one. <laughs> Two one Isaiah popped up in the river toward first. Delka moved over toward the foul line and made a catch right number two. Now to get us back to the top of the order, number three, David Walters. <clears throat> David struck out back in the first. First pitch to Walters, this one going to hit it high over short right field. Right fielder coming in and drops the ball. That's going to fall, and David's going to go all the way to second. And he'll be there now with two outs. So that'll be an error on the right fielder, Fortner. And with two outs, that'll bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Cole doubled and scored back in the first inning.
First pitch, runner going. Throw down a third safe. He's going to Boston, go in the left field. And Walters will pop up and he'll go to the plate to score. Make it three to nothing, Indians. One and zero on Cole. One and zero pitch in for a strike. One and one. One and one. Cole strike. Must have got the outside corner. One and two. One, two, swing and a miss. Catch a drop, and he picks the ball up. He'll throw down the first Safe. in time. Oh, right man, number three. I thought he beat it. <laughs> he needs to get one here in the bottom, uh, top of the second, go to the bottom half. They lead it three to nothing. We'll be back right after this. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Family-owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Welcome back. Swamp War on CSN. Indians lead three to nothing. Bottom of the second. Sammy? And the second for the Panthers will be six, seven, and eight. Taylor Kennedy, Race Godfrey, and Jacob Dilt will be the first three. Colton Cruz still on the mound for the Indians. First pitch to Kennedy in four strike, 0 1. Oh, one swung on, hit over toward the right side out of play. Chase giving it a chance, but can't get to it. Out of play, 0 2. O two foul off at the plate, still 0 and two. <coughs> o two pitch swung on a miss. The ball gets by Eli. He'll hustle, hustle back and get it through the first. Not in time. So Kennedy will strike out, but he'll reach first on the pass ball. Now to bring in number three, Race Godfrey.
Godfrey squares the bunt. The ball gets by Eli. And Kennedy will go down to second. Turn and fake the second. Nobody's there. Timeout called on the infield by the Indians. <laughs> Little miscommunication there on the infield, I believe. That's why the timeout was called. Right of free squares, it takes a strike. One on one. One on one on Godfrey. Godfrey squares the bunt and takes ball low. Two and one. Squares again. Infield's charging. Godfrey Bunser. Road in the field. Look at third. Throw there, and the tag is on. Oh, we caught him safe at third. Looks like he slid right into the tag, and he got the safe call. Hey, he can't. He can't see that. That's a bad angle where he's at over there behind the plate over there. He couldn't see that. The kid slid right into the tag. And Coach Marshall was out to speak with the base umpire. He couldn't call that because he was too far away. So runners at first and third now with nobody out. That'll bring in number 27, Jacob Delk. It's a good bunt by Godfrey. First pitch of Delk was low. Chase fielded it, threw it to third. Looked like an out at third, but didn't get the call. So first and third now. Delk showing bunt. Now he pulls back and takes the strike. One on one. Bill again shows bunt. He's going to pull back and little half swings foul. One and two. Turn it. Now you're up. Now I can. You hear me? Yep. All right, one down. Got to bring up number 17, Fortner. He squares the bunt, pulls back, takes a strike. 
You got me on number two. No wonder I turned the wrong one down. I was turning <laughs> the. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sammy set up the mics tonight. Who uh, won? <laughs> Uh, time call by the um, home plate umpire. Who won pitch? Throw the first. They're gonna have him picked off over there at first base. Great move by Cruz. Two outs. Runner at third now. Uh, inside, I guess. One on one. I have a timeout call by the home plate umpire. Home plate on Paris walked over toward the dugout. Now, nah, on back behind the plate. One on one on Fortner. <laughs> one on one pitch. Little bunt out in front of the plate. Good bunt. And there's going to be no play. Run scores. Runner safe at first. So a great job by Fortner laying down the bunt down the first baseline where nobody could get to it before he got to the bag and the run scores. You'll have an RBI on that. Three to one now. Adam reached on the air back in the first. What a pitch. That down the first, and the ball's going to bounce off of Chase and roll over towards second. One on one. Runner going, pitch a swung on, hit in the air towards center. Walters going back, and makes the catch for round number three. So the Panthers strand one, but they get one across, go to the top of the third, in this lead at three to one. We'll be back right after this. Shop local, support the folks that support your youth. And we're also looking for playoff sponsors. We're knowing in the postseason. Just got to get that C's, the C's locked up. But if you're interested in helping out with picking up a series to keep us on YouTube, shoot me a message at 912-276-7999. Or you can email us at charltonsportsnet at gmail.com or Facebook on our instant message in there. Thank you. We'll be right back. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indians. The SP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Folkston, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. 
For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. Welcome back. Swamp War will see us in. Indians lead. Three to one. Leading off the third for the Indians will be Colton Cruz, followed by Griffin Thomas and Eli Hobbs. Sam, here's a trivia question for our fans at home. I challenge him to find home plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got his brush out now. He's going to clean, it. He he's gonna clean, he's it, gonna clean it off now. Yeah. <laughs> he, must, he must have hurt us. Yeah. <laughs> Colton Cruz leading it off. First pitch low, 1-0. This one's going to hit out towards second. Here there by Kennedy on the first for out number one. That'll bring up Griffin Thomas. Griffin was hit by a pitch and scored back in the first. First pitch is grounded back to the pitcher. Dale Fields on the first, right number two. That'll bring up Eli Hobbs. Hobbs walked back in the first. First pitch to Eli. I want to know. One of pitch foul back. One on one. One pitch, low, two and one. Two one there for a strike, two and two. That remote camera's a blessing in situations like this, isn't it? No room up there, but there was room for a camera. 2-2 to <laughs> Eli. Here it is. High ball three. <laughs> three two pitch. Swung on and hit. Nice hit. To the left field. Two out single by Eli Hobbs. Number nine, Brody Baker come on and run for Eli. 
That'll bring in number 29, Hayes Johnson. Over to first, Baker back safe. Pitch to Hayes is in first strike, 0 1. Throw to first, Brody back. Oh, one pitch runner going. Pitch is a dead ball to hit him in the leg. So Baker will move up to second. Johnson will be at first. And that'll bring up number 15, Cheese Roden. Rodin popped out to second back in the first. <laughs> Dale can fake the second. First pitch to Chase, swung on and popped. Foul out of play. Oh, one. Three to one Indians here in the third. Trying to add on, we got two runners on, two outs. Oh, one pitch. Swing and a miss. Over two. Time called at the plate. Two pitch, here it is. Swung on to hit high in the air, around short. Allen over, makes the catch for round number three. So nothing doing for the Indians in the third. They leave two on, go to the bottom half, still three to one, Charlton. We'll be right back. The home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. West Folkestone Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower and blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Park West Folkestone Auto Supply is located at 4439 2nd Street in Folkestone, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's Clark West Folkestone. Go Indians. Welcome back, Sammy. All right, Indians lead at 3-1. to one. Here at Bomber the third. Leading off for the Panthers will be Jordan Gatlin, followed by Levi Corbett and Watts Fortner. 
Gatlin grounded out to the shortstop back in the first. First pitch, right down the middle, 0-1. Swung on, and that's going to get through in the right field for a hit. So leadoff single for Gatlin. And that'll bring up number 11, Levi Corbett. Corbett walked in the first. Was stranded at second. So leadoff single and speed on first base for the Panthers. First pitch, though, throw the first. Gatlin back safe. First pitch, high and outside, 1-0. Two and oh. the first, got them back safe. Two oh to Corbett. Inside, three and oh. Rio pitches high, ball four. So leadoff single and a walk will give the Panthers runners at first and second. Nobody out now. And we'll have a timeout called by Charlton. Next opportunity you get, pull that jacket down, placer. <laughs> if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Getting a little nippy. Yeah. <laughs> now for the Panthers, number nine, Watts Fortner. Runs at first and second. Nobody out. <clears throat> we need to turn a double and get out of this. Fortner squares the bunt, takes the pitch high, 1 0. Oh. 1 0 pitch, Fortner squares again. He butts it right back out in front of the plate. Colton the field, throw to first, he throws it away. The run's going to score. Gatlin's going to score. Corbin is going to go to third, and. Fortner will go down to second on the throwing air. It's now three to two. Now batting for the Panthers, number 10, Maddox Allen. Allen grounded out to the second baseman and back in the first. Second and third now, nobody out for the Panthers. Go to the plate. Safe. Eli couldn't hold on to it. Run score. Now another run coming to the plate. Out at home. Throw down the third. The ball goes into left field. And Allen to score.
So the Panthers will take a 4-3 lead here in the third. One down out of ring at number 15, Taylor Kennedy. First pitch is on a miss, 0-1. Kennedy struck out back in the second, was able to reach on the pass ball and wind up scoring a run. No one pitch is in the dirt, one and one. Kennedy shows bunt, pulls back. Gets a little stroll over toward first. Chase the field. Step on the bag for round number two. And that's going to bring up number three, Race Godfrey. Swings at the first pitch, ground it over to second. Call for the fields on the first, right number three. The Panthers get three here in the bottom of the third to take a 4-3 lead to go to the top of the fourth. You're watching Swamp War on CSN. We'll be right back. For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics in the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Camden Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton. Welcome back. Swamp War. Indians trail by one. Sammy? All right, leading off the fourth for the Indians will be Ethan Crawford, followed by Isaiah Baker, and then back to the top and David Walters. Ethan struck out back in the second in his only plate appearance. Panthers get three there in that bomber in the third to take a four to three lead. Jacob Delp still on the heel for the Panthers. First pitch is swung on and hit high, deep to left field. Left fielder going back, and that ball's out of here. It's a leadoff home run by Ethan Crawford. And just like that, we're tied again. Ethan jumped all over that first pitch and hit away out of here. Just like that, we're Just tied like back that. up. Another bring a number five, Isaiah Baker. First pitch to Isaiah is in for a strike, 0 1. Isaiah Wait. popped out to the pitcher back in the second. We keep this up. They're going to have to put covers on those windows on that <laughs> new high school over there. That's a big, that's a big school. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh, one pitch swung on a miss. Oh, and two. Oh, two in the dirt. One and two.
One, two, outside, two and two. Two, two, high, three and two. About to fall behind, 0 oh and 2. Baker's battle back, now 3 and 2. Three, two pitch, swung on, that's going to be in for a hit. Left field. Baker's rounding first, and he's going to scramble back to the bag. He thought about going to second, lost his foot, and then got back to first. That just gets us back to the top of the order. Number three, David Walters. David struck out in the first and reached on the air in the second and scored. Big lead by Isaiah first. Dale can step off and take a look at him. First pitch to David is swung on a miss. Oh, one. one. David squares and bunts it up in the air behind home plate, and it did fall foul. Oh, and two. That was a heck of an effort. Great effort back there by Fortner. Almost got it, that ball. He lost his glasses. What right, 0 2 on Walters. Two pitches high, one and two. Load up first, Isaiah back. One, two pitch, swung on. That's going to get up the middle and through. Isaiah will go to second. He'll stay there. So back-to-back -back singles for the Indians. Give them first and second now with nobody out. And to bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Cole doubled and scored in the first and struck out in the second. Panthers yeah, want a timeout. Yeah, timeout called by Clinch County. You think they pitched to Cole? Yeah. Carefully. Huh? Carefully. <laughs> All right, what's the over and under on the guns and hoses? Who's, who's winning that thing tomorrow? Sheriff's Department or EMS? I don't know. I can't call that one. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them get hauled off on the ambulance? <laughs> well, I, think, I think that's the... I think that's the big thing is how many EMS calls do we get out there? <laughs> yeah. All right, first and second, nobody out. Crawford at the plate. All tied at four here in the fourth. First pitch to Cole is swung on, hit high in the air to right field. Fort oh. Murray dropped the ball. Isaiah's going to go to third. They're going to wave him to the plate. And we're going to have a throw there. He's going to be 
Out at home. So Baker's out. Walters will be at third, and Cole will go to second. One down, under bring up number 13, Colton Cruz. Colton 0 for 2. Fly out and a ground out. First pitch is swung on, hit high in the air. Coming back here toward the stands, and it'll be out of play. I actually thought that call was more of a safe, should have been safe than the previous inning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want on Cruz. Oh, one pitch. Breaking ball, stayed outside, one and one. That's a good pitch by Delk. Just missed the corner. One one, low two and one. Two one, ah three and one. Colton will probably rip in here if he gets one he likes. Three one pitch, here it is. Inside, ball four. So that's gonna load him up for the Indians with one out and bring up Griffin Thomas. Griffin was hit by a pitch and scored in the first and granted out back to the pitcher in the third. First pitch to Griffin is swung on. He's hit out toward the left center, and that ball's going to be down. One run scores. Cole's going to be around around third. He's going to go to the plate. We're going to have a throw there, and he'll be safe. So a big hit by Griffin Thomas to plate two runs for the Indians here in the fourth. So Walter scores, Crawford scores. Colton will move up to third, and Griffin will be at first. Now with one out. Six to four Indians. Going to bring up Hobbs to the plate. Eli walked in the first and singled in the third. First pitch to him is swinging a miss. Oh one fouled off. Oh and two. Time call. O2 pitch, down low, one and two. One, two, curve, so we're going to hit out to a short. The second for one, 
And no third to first. So to get the lead runner at second, Colton will move up to third, and Hobbs will be at first now with two outs. And that'll bring you number 29, Hayes Johnson. Hayes singled in the first. RBI, two, a two-run single in the first, and was hit by pitch in the third. Baker on the run for Hobbs. First pitch to Hayes is high, 1-0. Runner going for first. Delk will step off and take a look, and nobody's at the bag. So Hayes will be at second now with two outs. Cruz at third. 1 0. Check swing. 2 0. Two a pitch, swung on, that's hit out to right center, and that ball's going to drop. One run scores. Baker around third, he'll score. So a two out, two run single by Hayes Johnson. Now we give the Indians an eight to four lead. Hey, you're fine. You're fine. I have a camera up there now. You're good. There were two outs out of bring up Chase Roden. First pitch to Chase has swung on a miss. Chase has flew out to second and flew out to short. Two plate appearances. Chase swings, a little dribble down toward third. Third baseman charges in, fields, and throws. And Foul ball, right? Foul ball. ball, yep. I never saw a signal from the home plate umpire, so yeah, I wasn't sure. A it was yeah. a, delay call, yeah, a yeah. delayed call. Yeah. It's easy for me to say. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and two. Two outs, runner first. Runner going, pitch a swung on, and that's going to be down for a hit. That's down the left field line. Hayes round second, and they're going to hold him at third. And Chase will go into second with a two-out double. Now batting will be Ethan Crawford. Ethan led this in and off with a solo homer. Ethan one out of two, a homer and a strikeout. Second and third now with two outs. First pitch is high, 1-0. Roden at second, Johnson at third. Five runs in and in and four the Indians. Trying to add to that total. 1 0 to Ethan. Here it is. High 2 0. And Fortner's going to call time. I'll walk out and talk with Jacob Delk. Six hits in the inning for the Indians. Two to Crawford. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Two and one.
Two one. Cone strike. Two and two. Two and two, two outs, runners in second and third. Two two pitch. Load. Ball gets by the catcher. And Johnson's gonna go to the plate and he's gonna be safe. Ball gets by the pitcher. And Chase is gonna round third. He's gonna go to the plate. And he'll be safe. They both run score. And it's now 10 to 4 Indians. So Hayes scores, Chase scores. Three and two on Crawford. Three two pitch. Low ball four. So the eleventh man will come to the plate for the Indians here in the fourth. But not before we have a timeout called by Clinch County. I think we see a pitching change right here. Probably. The wild thing about all this is right fielder makes that catch, and none of these runs scored. It's yep. still four to four. Mm -hmm. You're right. So there will be a pitching change. We'll take a quick break while he warms up. We'll be right back. Sports Network. Four Seasons Floral, located at 4415 2nd Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations prom, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. All right, welcome back. Indians up 10 to four. New pitcher on the mound, Sammy. That's number 23, but I don't have his number on my roster. I'm trying to get a name for you. I think that's Carter Griffiths, I believe. There's no, I don't have him on there, but I believe it's Carter Griffiths. He'll come on the pitch for the Clinch County. Jacob Delk will go from the mound to right field. And Fortner will come out of the game from right field. All right, Griffiths has finished his warm-up tosses. He'll speak briefly with Fortner behind the plate. And ends have runner at first base, two outs, and will bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. Isaiah flew out into second and singled back into fourth, or early in this inning, in the fourth inning. Throw to first, Crawford back safe. First pitch is low and outside. Going. Runner going, throw to second, it's safe. So run to second now with two outs. One or no on Baker. One new pitch, swung on and tipped into the catcher's mitt. One and one. One 
One one fouled off at the plate. One and two. One two to Baker. Here it is. High two and two. Two pitch instead of fake the third or second. <clears throat> Crawford back safely. Two two outside three and two. Two to Baker. Here it is. Cole strike three. Got him looking for route number three. But the Indians send 11 men to the plate here in the fourth. They get seven runs on six hits, including a long solo homer from the freshman, Ethan Crawford. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Indians lead at 10 to 4. We'll be back right after this. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. Welcome back, Sammy. All right, going to the fourth inning. Indians lead at 10-4 to four on a big seven-run fourth inning. Leading off the fourth for the Panthers will be Jacob Delt, followed by number 23. That's, I believe that's Carter Griffiths. Then back to the top, and Deterius Adams. Delt struck out back in the second. He'll take ball one, one and oh. One well, no pitch fouled off. One and one. One and one. A little chopper over toward third. Cole Fields throws the first. Got him. Pulled and chased off the bag, but he made a catch and made a tag for out number one. So one down, that'll bring up number 23, Carter Griffiths. Be Griffiths' first plate appearance. And we're going to have a timeout called by the, no, we're going to have an injured player on the field. You see Blue shake his head over like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> we'll have an injured Panther down the ground over around first base. Yeah, not sure what happened there, the young, young man. Oh, I thought I think Blue thought he was coming to him asking about the call. That's why he shook his head, but went right by him, went to the injured player.
That's a large school. It Two is stories. big, yeah. Big. Especially for a you know a one A school. Uh -huh. Especially for a single A school. That looks like some FTE numbers might need to get checked. Yeah. <laughs> it's big. It's nice. It mm -hmm. looks like it's going to be real nice. Yeah. Has our school board released plans on what our new one's going to look like? I think they've done it a couple different times now, but I'm not sure what they've actually come up with. I just want a press box at the 50 yard line of Bethune. At the new one. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Huh? <laughs> you have to get an extra zoom camera to reach out there yeah. and see, especially the far end, far end zone. And that's number 23, I believe, Griffiths. No, that's um, Delk, maybe. The injured Panther. He's going to be helped off the field. I'm glad to see he's up. A little bit of help, but hopefully yeah. he'll be all right. So one out and get back to play here. It'll be number 23, Carter Griffiths at the plate. Griffiths came on the pitch the last inning, so this will be his first plate appearance. Adams on deck. <clears throat> uh, first pitch to Griffith. He that shows bunt, takes the ball low. He'll show bunt again, pull back, and take a stride. One and one. One one low two and one. Call strike two and two. Two two pitch to Griffiths. Here it is. Outside three and two. Got a message on our YouTube channel. That's going to be a K through 12 school. K through 12, okay. 3 2 pitch, here it is. Swung on, fouled off at the plate, still 3 and 2. That explains why it's so big. Yep. Mm -hmm. Timeout called at the plate. Griffiths will step out for a minute. <clears throat> now he's digging back in. And another 3 2 pitch. Here it is. Swung on a miss, strike three. So two down. That'll get us back to the top of the order. Number six, Deterius Adams. He reached on the air in the first and flew out the center in the second. First pitch is low, one and oh. Oh, they got him in the leg. Right on the back of the leg. So Adams a bit first with two outs. Now to bring up Jordan Gatlin. Gatlin, one for two in the game. Ground out in the first, a single and a run scored in the third.
First pitch is high. One and And they're going to have a ball called on Cruz. That's him, Adams, the second. And he'll be there now with two outs. One and on Gatlin. Swing and a miss, one and one. One and two. Time called. Yeah, I think Colton's hurt. He threw that pitch, and as soon as he got through of it, threw his hat off and walked off the field. So, looks like Nettles will come on and go to right field. So without injury to Cruz, David Walter to come in and pitch now for the Indians. Brandon Nettles will come in and go to right field, and Hayes Johnson will move from right to center field. That she changes after this injury timeout. Sure hope he's all right. So that injury timeout, being his injury timeout, David has all the time he wants to to throw. He says he's ready to go. And we'll come back and have a runner at second, two outs. We're going to have a one-two count on Gatlin. Again, the change is Walters to the mound. Brandon Nettles will come in and go to, to right field, and Hayes Johnson will move from right over to center field. One, two, pitch to Gatlin, runner going, pitches low, and it gets by Eli. And Gatlin will turn around third, but he'll stay there. Two and two. Two two, here it is. Down low, three and two. Ball scoots away from me live, but not far enough for Adams to score.
three, two. Call, oh, oh, must have been outside. Oh, he called strike three. <laughs> Late center there by the blue. But call strike three. Panthers leave one. Nothing else to him. Go to the top of the fifth. Indians lead at 10 to four. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians baseball on CSN. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Family owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state of the art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Welcome back to Homerville Swamp War on CSN this evening. Indians run rolled them in game one earlier. Game two are at 10 to four, top of the fifth. Sammy. All right, leading off for the Indians here in the fifth will be Walters, followed by Crawford, and then Nettles. Carter Griffith still on the mound for the Panthers. First pitch is swung on and hit to the left side, and that's through. So leadoff single for Walters. That'll bring up Cole Crawford to the plate. Cole double to score in the first, struck out in the second, and reached on the area and scored in the fourth. Third and first, Walters back safely. Walters is going, pitches outside, and goes all the way to the backstop. Walters will be at second now with nobody out. What a note to call. Here it is. Outside. 2 0. pitch. Swung on and fouled off. Two and one. <coughs> Two one pitch. Outside three and one. High, ball four. That'll bring up number six, Brantley Nettles. This will be Nettles' first plate appearance. He came in that last half inning when Colton came out, appeared to be injured. First and second, no outs. Turn to second, nobody's there. It feels dark, isn't it? I lightened it up on the screen, but it looks dark out there. First pitch to Brantley is fouled off. 
Oh, one. Nettle squares, pulls it back, takes the ball, one and one. One one, outside, two and one. The ball get by the catcher, but not far enough for Walter to advance. Two on the nettles. Swung on hit high over toward right center. Right fielder over and makes the catch. Walters will tag. Third to third. Save. Ball gets by our third baseman. But great job of backing up there by the pitcher to hold David to third. So runners at second and third now with one out. That'll bring up Griffin Thomas. Great heads up play by Cole. Tagging and going to second on the high throw to third. First pitch to Griffin is high, one and oh. Griffin was hit by a pitch in the first and scored. Grounded out to the pitcher and singled. 2 0. <laughs> 2 0 pitches high, 3 0. Hobbs on deck. <clears throat> you're fine, you're fine. 3 0 to Griffin is outside, ball four. And I'll load them up for the Indians. That'll bring up Eli Hobbs. Eli walked in the first, singled in the third, and reached on a fielder's choice and scored a run in the fourth. Bases full of Indians, one out. First pitch to Eli, it's high, 1-0. One oh pitch, call the strike, one and one. Two and one. Two one pitch swung on hit down the left side and that's going to be foul. foul ball. Oh man! Straight that thing over about ten feet. That would have cleared the bases there. <laughs> the two and two on Eli. Two two, here it is. High ball three. Three two to the Indians catcher. Swung on. It's gonna hit out toward right center. And that's gonna get down. That's gonna get in the gap. One run scores. They're gonna sing. Cole to the plate. They're going to have a throw there. The catcher missed the ball, and he'll be safe. And Eli will go in the second.
Well, you're fine. You're fine. I put a camera up there. Yeah. So that'll bring up number 29, Hayes Johnson. 12 to 4 now in his lead. At first pitch to Hayes is fouled off 0 1. We're going to miss 0 2. O2 pitch. Throw the chopper over towards second. Second baseman in, fields, bobbles it, throws the first in time for out number two. One run scores, and other runners are going to come around. That's Baker, and he'll be safe. So Thomas scores, Baker scores. Got to bring got number 15, good, Chase good. Roden. He'll be out for two outs. I put a camera up there a while ago. Oh, you can get in front of him. Oh, 14 okay. to 4 now. Indians lead it. <laughs> First pitch is swung on and hit too short. That's, right center field. Drop. Right footer coming over. And that's going to drop for him for a hit. So a two out single by Chase. He'll be at first now. That'll bring up number one, Ethan Crawford. These boys looking for cameras now, Sammy. <laughs> Ethan struck out in the second, hit a long homer in the fourth, and also walked in the fourth. Throw to first. Chase back safely. Pitch to Ethan. Here it is. Outside. Want to know. Swung on a hit to the left center. Left fielder coming in. And I'll make the catch right number three. But the Indians get four more here in the fifth. We'll go to the bottom half. Indians lead at 14 to four. We'll be back right after this. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile. So wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Welcome back. Sammy, what you think so far, man? The bats have been active tonight. Yeah, we got behind a little bit here in the first couple of innings and then we come up and tied it up and have opened it up. You ride it, bats were kind of silent there in the first two or three innings, but in the fourth inning, started swinging it. Big news tonight, man. I hope Cruz is all right. Yeah, that'd be a re really big loss to the Indians pitching staff if he's out for the rest of the yeah. season. And it didn't look good with his reaction. And then since he got to the dugout, you know, his mom came in and checked on him. They immediately left. So I'm sure they were probably going to have him looked at. All right, here we go. All right, leading off for the Panthers here in the fifth, number 11, Levi Corbett. Corbett singled in the first, and Walton scored in the third.
Corbett, Fortner, and Allen. The first three for the Panthers. David Walter still on the mound for the Indians. First pitch, swing and a miss. One and one. One and one pitch inside. Two one pitch to Corbett. Outside, three and one. Got a big lead here. You need to throw strikes. Three one inside. Ball four. So lead off fault for Corbett here in the fifth. That'll bring up number nine, Watts Fortner. Fortner singled in the first and reached on an error in the third. Throw a ground ball here and get two outs. Pitch to Fortner is low, one and oh. Two a pitch, low three and oh, and that ball get by Eli and Corbett will move up to second. He'll be there now with nobody out. Three O pitch. Call strike three and one. Snap through the second. They're gonna have Corbett in the rundown over to Crawford. Back to second, and Corbett's gonna be tied out of second for round number one. Timeout, Coach Marshall's will come out or we'll have a pitch and change. <coughs> Just like Brantley Nettles will come on the pitch, David will go back to center, and I think Hayes will move back over to right. Just a good defense by the Indians there. Get that lead runner out. Fortner will take ball four on the play, and he'll be at first with one out. That'll bring up number 10, Maddox Allen. And that's who Nettles will face when. He finished his warm-up tosses. Coach Gray in the mound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pitching change. Brandon Nettles on the pitch for the Indians.
Indians need two outs. Talking about the schedule next week. Mm -hmm. Vidalia Monday, right? April fifteenth, Monday. Is it Vidalia? Here, I mean at a uh, home. Home, okay. At Indian Field, Vidalia Heritage. Yeah, Vidalia Heritage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At four thirty, and then Tuesday, they go to Eccles. Wednesday, they go to Lanier for that big double header. Mm -hmm. That starts at four. Then Friday, back home, Eccles for the doubleheader. Huh. That's a busy week. Yeah. And that's senior night, too, Friday, next Friday. All right, back to play here. Brandon Nettles on the mound for the Indians. Got to play number 10, Maddox Allen. One out, runner at first. Defensive change, Cam Edwards to go to first for Roden. First pitch, foul back. <laughs> oh, one. Curve in for a strike, 0 oh and 2. Good pitch by Brantley. O2 pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. So Brandon comes in and gets a big out, gets out and swinging. And that'll bring uh, number 15, Taylor Kennedy. First pitch in for a strike, 0-1. Foul off, he hit down the right side, out of play. O2, so we're going to hit high in the air to center field. Diving catch by Walters, the ball falls. Throw to the plate. So great effort out there by Walters. Couldn't quite get to it. And Kennedy goes in with a double. Fortner over to third. It'll be second and third now with two outs. Bring a number three, Godfrey. First pitch is low, one and oh. One oh pitch, chop toward third. Cole Fields, long way across the diamond, in time for round number three. And that'll be your ball game. Final score, Charlton County 14, Clinch County 4. All right, y'all stay tuned. Sammy Hendricks is going to have the post-game wrap-up here. And are you ready already? Sammy has the post-game wrap-up right now. Sammy. All right, for Clinch County, four runs on three hits and two errors. Four runs, three hits, two errors. For the Charlton County Indians, 14 runs on 12 hits and one error.
14 runs, 12 hits, one error. Winning pitchers, number 13, Colton Cruz. He'll take the win. Losing pitcher, number 27, Jacob Delk. In his win at 14 to 4. All right. Thank you all for watching Swamp World CSN. We'll see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon for Guns and Hoses. Charlton Emergency Services playing against each other tomorrow. You'll be sure and join us for that. Have a great day. A great evening, everybody. Be safe.